right, man. Torch your time. 12 o'clock show. 12 o'clock show. Thank y'all for being here with me. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate that. Hey, man, look. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about 21 Savage having a birthday party. And he invited Drake and Metro Boomin. And, um, yeah, we're going to go through that. Of course, we're going to watch a clip. See what's going on with it. All right, man, listen. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today on all the beautiful, sexy ladies. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal is in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Over 11,000. I can't believe it. Over 11,000. A million by Monday morning. And let me know where you're from, man. I really appreciate it. So we're going to get right to this, man. This has come courtesy of The Ville. We love The Ville over here. Make sure y'all go subscribe to him. All right, man. You know what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's get it, man. 12 o'clock show. Let's go. Now, following the tweets that were made by Young Thug and Future reposting, I'm talking about them being Bredas. It doesn't look like 21 Savage had Drake show up to his birthday party. It doesn't look like 21 Savage had Metro Boomin show up for his birthday party either. Even though Drake had seemingly posted on 21 Savage's flyer uh, in regards to his birthday party, Drake didn't really even show up, even though he commented on it, making it look like he was. And maybe because of that, Metro Boomin didn't show up. I'm not quite sure on the relationship with 21 Savage and Metro Boomin. I know they probably had some words back and forth on a live ain't working bro you on that po ass wi-fi your mic ain't working my nigga oh you was talking shit bitch get off my live bitch i ain't even see all the other comments fuck wrong with this nigga i'm from the block bullying but it was just played off I don't know, some of these, some some people, man, they could never just get out of their hood mentality. They'll always be in that. I think that I was one of those guys. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was in my hood mentality. I embraced my hood mentality when I was younger. Then I started to grow up. Started getting past certain things. Started realizing that that's just not me. That is the hood. It's not me. People say you're a product of your environment. I'm not a product of my environment. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. Some of these dudes, they, they revel in being from the hood. There's nothing wrong with being from the hood. But... The hood is a place where you have to grow out of it because you don't necessarily have to be in that mentality for the rest of your life because the hood is most people that are in the hood are on survival mode. And it's like, why are you still on survival mode when there are outlets that can help you get out of that mind state? But that's just my opinion. Keep it going. It's just trolling or just messing around. It didn't really seem like it was that serious. But I'm not too sure on the relationship with Metro Boomin and 21 Savages. But I'm sure he could assume that Drake was going to show up to 21 Savages' birthday. And that should be enough for him not to show up at all. As you can see here, Metro said that he was on an island. As you can see here, Drake commented, probably hinting towards that he was going to show up. But didn't anyways. And I'm not sure exactly who it was who showed up for 21 Savage's birthday. But as you can see here, bro, it looks like nobody wants to make amends. I don't think Drake wants to make amends with Metro. And I don't think Metro wants to make amends with Drake. I don't think. And that's what I was saying on the last video that actually I didn't drop that video because uh, I just didn't like how it came out. Um, These guys, why would why would someone want to can I just leave the video? 
I did that this morning. You know what I'm talking about? Why would somebody want to put two people in a volatile situation? It has to be because the mentality of some of these people are, this is what it is. And again, it's not going to be the artist that's going to get hurt. It's going to be innocent people in the entourage that does all this goofy stuff. Because they don't think. Future was there. I'm not sure. I haven't heard. I haven't heard or seen any pictures of Future being there either. But this all comes after Young Thug sharing a post talking about them being brothers and that it wouldn't be the same without them collabing. People like academics had speculated that this was Thug's way of trying to bring peace right before 21 Savage's birthday. I think a lot of people, like academics, were hoping that they would be together at 21 Savage's birthday party. A mutual friend from all of them try to keep the peace, but it looks like it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't. I'm not a hater. I swear, I'm not a hater. But some of these people, they don't belong in these spots that they're in. Some of these people, man, I'm telling you, they don't belong in these spots. And it's like, when you say that, you clearly look like a hater. You clearly look like somebody who, <laughs> who just hating on their success. And it's like, what strings and what did you have to do to get to where you're at? Because there are honest, hardworking people that do things and they never receive the rewards that some of these people receive. It's like some of the hierarchies or the higher upper higher people, they put these people in these positions. And we ask ourselves like, and I ask myself every day, how can I be a better person how can I be a better man without being compromised? I just don't understand it. It seemed like Metro Boomin wanted anything to do with Drake, considering that he went to an island. Doesn't look like Drake even attended 21 Savage's party, which I think is messed up, but who knows what they're doing? Who knows what their schedule is looking like? But if your number one collaborator for the past few years has been 21 Savage, I think it's like, come on, dog. This this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. I think it's messed up, but who knows what they're doing? Who knows what their schedule is looking like? But like, look at this. It's like, why are we reporting on this? This is again, people are looking for a volatile moment. You put in Drake and you put in Metro Boom and name in the same sentence. You already know what time it is now. I don't know if he was actually at the party, but it says he tweeted that at almost 2 o'clock. Maybe this is before the party, but either way, what are we doing here? You know that they don't get along. Why would they both be at the party? Again, this is, this is the laughing guy. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get why people want to see a volatile situation. I just don't understand it. If your number one collaborator for the past few years has been 21 Savage, I think it's best to say that you probably should have been at the birthday party. Uh, but I'm only bringing this up because people thought that this was going to be the day that everybody makes peace with each other because Young Thug had shared this post days before or a day before 21 Savage's birthday. But it doesn't appear like any of them showed up. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. Do you think that they're going to... All right, so let me see. Let me pause this. Oh, so he said it afterwards. So it was on the 19th. And he said it afterwards. But still in all, this, this, this still holds weight. He's saying something like that. Like, come on. 
make peace still? Do you think that it's too late? I know Metro said a couple things. I know Drake said a lot of things regarding Metro. What about future? What do y'all think about future? What do you think about 21 Savage and Metro's relationship? Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all feel about this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace. All right, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the view. Yeah, man. I think I think we got to this point where it's like we we had a crossroads in hip hop to me. And sometimes I feel like we just accept these dudes. And they're kind of like, it's going to sound kind of weird, but they're kind of like, what do I say? They're kind of like leaders. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're kind of like, it's so weird to me. Like, they have became leaders in our community. Some of these dudes should never be even close to being leaders because they don't know how. They only know how to get things done through the means of violence. You know what I'm saying? That's it. They pretend. A lot of these dudes pretend to be peaceful. They're not. They're not peaceful at all. So when you say stuff like people like Drake and in uh, Metro Boomin should be in the same room at the same time. They haven't had a conversation. At least we don't know. They haven't had a conversation that actually squashes the beef between the two. But yet still we okay with this type of behavior. And then we ask it. We always putting up signs. Stop the violence. It's like we're setting these dudes up for these type of things to happen. And then we try to pretend like we didn't never seen it. Oh, what? it's not that serious. Some of these people, some of these people that they run around with, the entourages, they are real killers. Some of these people are real killers. They really want to kill. They want to, they want to kill somebody because they think that you got enough money to get them out of this situation. They want to do it. So either way, man, I'm not really impressed with that whole birthday party. It is what it is, but all right, man, y'all have yourself a good afternoon. Six o'clock show is coming up. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>